Consor says to do four milliliters uh, per, per liter, right? Um, during all weeks of the growth phase. With high pressure aeroponics, cut that down to a quarter because your everything is amped up. You're just going to use the nutrients that you have. We don't recirculate, remember? So um, I kind of have numbers that I start out with. It's not on here. Uh, so, But I usually will start with about, oh, not even about 10 milliliters there. Usually I mix it up in my bigger containers, but I just needed a gallon kind of quickly to add to another solution that I had in another grill. So I kind of want to make sure you get all that A out of there. The chelated uh, nutrients will bind together and then you want them to bind when they're more separated, right? So that's part A, now I'll do my part B. Um, you may not see it, but I have a little mark down under my 50 there. So again, I'm, you know, I'm shooting for about 10 cc's to start out with here. I don't ever kick over 900 ppm, I think, in any phase of my grow. Maybe I'll hit 1,000 ppm, it matters. But for the most part, there's no need, especially if you're not recycling nutrients and you're just sending sterile nutrients in one direction only and you're spraying only just enough mist in there and that the plants absorb it and you're not soaking the roots so they have more surface space, more surface area, and you're good. So now let's test this. <clears throat> the cool thing about, excuse me, the cool thing about using uh, the advanced nutrients by, um, I mean, using the Connoisseur, the Sensei Perfect nutrients, they come with a pH balance uh, in them, which works pretty darn good. Ah, 3,000, that's only 73 degrees. <clears throat> it's 1,500 BAM. That's horrendously high, right? That's bad. I would never do that. But, like I said, I'm adding this to a, a bigger reservoir right now. So, that's where I want it because it's going to dilute down for me. Now I use the Taurus Hydro pH balance. Let me just make sure the probe is in the water here. So so my pH is around five point five. I say five point five right now. So. That's too low. Remember, when you're using st sterile system and you're going one direction with everything, it will stay up to four weeks in your accumulator tank without the nutrients getting bad. Let me find my pipe bed here. Whoop, it's on the camera. All right, beyond nutrients, I'm one of the few people that get my hands on this stuff. Uh, NASA. It's NASA's nutrients that they use on the space station. Um, it's a little secret. It's actually 100% uh, non-toxic. You can use it to grow hemp and everything. and get, like, magically awesome yields. It's expensive, too. I sell it. Um, so I'm going to put a couple pipettes in there. This controls the... 
ethylene and the hormones that will cause your plant to get stressed out. It kind of fakes your plant out to think that everything's good. And it causes it, it, it works with hormones. It's pretty cool like that. It's actually shellfish extract. That's why it's 100% natural, 100% safe for kids, 100% environmentally friendly, not a fertilizer. I don't know what it is considered, but it's all, comes with a manufacturer safety data sheet. It's been for like over 10 years studied and certified with every California organic certification that's needed. It's pretty crazy. So, again, I'm using the Taurus Hydro Perfect pH in my system, so I know that the pH that I'm going to set it at right now will be the pH that I want. It kind of works like, like that way. So that just brought my pH up a little bit. I hate using any chemicals, but I'm going to use a little bit because... I've got to get that pH up a little bit. Um, <clears throat> I truly hate using any kind of pH stuff. If that, if my, if this uh, nutrients were around 900 ppm down to around 500. It will almost, with the advanced nutrients, it will almost always sit you around 6.0 to start out. I like to start out right there. 6.0 is a good number for me. That's a great thing about a reverse osmosis system is that you can repeat everything. You can make tons of Excel spreadsheets and just have everything on there so you can really be a dork and a nerd like, like us people that really get into this too much. Um, and you can really, really break down the control of your whole system. I mean, that's what aeroponics is about, high-pressure aeroponics. It's about control. It's about being able to control every little aspect of the grow. And if you really don't want to put all the effort into that, it's just no point in it then. All right, I'm at 5.97 something, so let me just double check. I always give or take a little bit for these cheap... Uh, pH things, so let's see. Alright, so I don't know if you people can see it, but I'm right at 5.98, 5.99, it's just about the kick six. That's good enough for me. If I put any more chemicals in there, I, I run the risk of it just going overboard and then having to add chemicals to go back down or add more water. Um, but that's it, there you go. Bam! How to not flood out your apartment and get your nutrients done.